Ever wondered what US presidents do when they're not running the country? Well, you're about to find out. Welcome to the channel. Here are 30 mind-blowing facts about US presidents that may surprise you. Fact 1. George H.W. Bush celebrated his 75th, 80th, 85th, and 90th birthdays by skydiving. While most of us might opt for a quiet dinner or a slice of birthday cake, Bush Sr. chose to take the plunge, quite literally, from thousands of feet in the air. Fact 2. Richard Nixon was an accomplished pianist and could play not one, not two, but five musical instruments. Along with the piano, he could serenade you with the saxophone, the clarinet, the accordion, and even the violin. Nixon certainly knew how to keep the White House lively with impromptu concerts and musical soirees. Our 16th president, Abraham Lincoln, was not just a statesman and a lawyer. He was also an inventor. Fact 3. Abraham Lincoln is the only U.S. president to hold a patent and it wasn't for a top hat or a beard comb. Lincoln invented a device for lifting boats over shoals and obstructions in a river. His invention was never produced, but its model is on display at the Smithsonian Institution in Washington, D.C. next up. Fact 4. A carriage carrying U.S. President Theodore Roosevelt was struck by a trolley that was speeding because its occupants wanted to meet him and were running late. The crash injured Roosevelt and tragically killed his bodyguard and good friend William Craig. All right, it's time for some presidential linguistics and fashion. Fact 5. Did you know that President Barack Obama can speak Spanish fluently? Imagine being the President of the United States and being able to switch languages mid-speech at a Hispanic community event. The ability to communicate directly in their own language with a significant portion of the population is quite an impressive feat. Fact 6. Before he was President Gerald Ford, he was Gerald Ford the fashion model. During his college years, Gerald Ford worked as a fashion model. He even graced the cover of Cosmopolitan magazine in 1942. Fact 7. George Washington, the first U.S. president, was an accomplished distiller and operated one of the largest whiskey distilleries in the country at Mount Vernon. So not only did he lead the nation, but he also led in the whiskey production. Talk about multitasking. Back to presidents with mind-blowing linguistic skills. Fact 8. Thomas Jefferson spoke six languages. English is native language, French, Latin, Greek, and Spanish. He also had some knowledge of Italian, German, and Arabic, although his proficiency in these languages varied. Overall, he was a polyglot skilled in multiple languages, which was quite impressive for his time. Fact 9. John Quincy Adams, sixth president of the United States, kept a pet alligator in the White House. This unusual pet was a gift from the Marquis de Lafayette. Now, that's a house guest you wouldn't want to bump into on a late-night snack run. Fact 10. George W. Bush was once a part owner of the Texas Rangers baseball team before becoming governor of Texas. Fact 11. Andrew Johnson, the 17th president, was a tailor before entering politics. His journey from humble beginnings to the White House is quite inspiring and reportedly made his own suits while in the White House. If you enjoyed these facts, please take a minute to like this video, subscribe to the channel and put your favorite fact in the comments. Thanks, it will really help my channel. Fact 12. Ulysses S. Grant was given a ticket for speeding while riding his horse and buggy through Washington, D.C. during his presidency. Fact 13. James A. Garfield had the incredible ability to write in two languages at the same time. He could write in Latin with one hand while simultaneously writing in Greek with the other. This astonishing skill surely reflects his intellectual prowess and dedication to learning. Let's dive into Fact 14. Grover Cleveland, our 22nd and 24th president, is the only U.S. president to serve two non-consecutive terms in office, from 1885-1889 and again from 1893-1897. He certainly knew how to make an exit and a re-entry. Moving on to fact 15. William McKinley, our 25th president, was the first U.S. president to ride in an automobile while in office. Imagine the astonishment of the crowd as they saw their president cruising down the streets in a horseless carriage. Moving on to fact 16. Did you know that Thomas Jefferson, our third president, used to greet White House guests in his pajamas? Talk about a laid-back leader. And here's fact 17. John Quincy Adams, our sixth president, was quite the early bird. He would take a daily dip in the Potomac River every morning at 5 a.m., even in winter. He believed it to be a great way to start his day. Now, let's get to fact 18. Lyndon B. Johnson, our 36th president, was so obsessed with time that he wore three watches. He wanted to know the time in Washington, D.C., Texas, and wherever he was traveling. Let's dive into our next set of presidential peculiarities, shall we? Fact 19. Calvin Coolidge, our 30th president, had a rather unusual morning ritual. He enjoyed having his head rubbed with petroleum jelly while eating breakfast in bed. 
It said that he believed it to be good for his health. Now that's an interesting way to start your day. As we move on to fact 20 we find that Dwight D. Eisenhower, our 34th president, had a hidden talent. He was an accomplished amateur painter, with over 250 paintings to his credit. From landscapes to portraits, he found solace in his artistic pursuits, often painting in his free time while serving in the Oval Office. It's fascinating to see the range of hobbies and habits that our presidents have had. As we continue our journey, we come across Fact 21. Theodore Roosevelt, the 26th President of the United States, was not just an avid reader, but a speed reader too. It's reported that Roosevelt read an average of one book per day, even during his presidency. Whether it was history, philosophy or fiction, Roosevelt's voracious appetite for knowledge was truly astounding. Now let's turn to Fact 22. Did you know that during World War I, Woodrow Wilson, our 28th president, kept a flock of sheep on the White House lawn? These woolly lawnmowers helped maintain the grounds, providing a practical solution during a time of war. And as an added bonus, the wool from these presidential sheep was sold to raise money for the Red Cross. These presidents certainly had some unique approaches to their hobbies and responsibilities. As we delve deeper into our presidential journey, Fact 23 takes us to an unusual event. Warren G. Harding, the 29th president, was known for his love of poker. Fact 23, President Harding lost a collection of White House China in a poker game. Fact 24, Lyndon B. Johnson, the 36th president, was an owner of an amphibious vehicle, an amphicar. This car could travel on land and water. Johnson delighted in scaring unsuspecting guests by driving them into a lake. His love for pranks and unique cars adds another layer to the fascinating personalities that have occupied the Oval Office. As we move on to Fact 25, we delve into the pre-presidential life of Ronald Reagan, the 40th President of the United States. Before his time in Hollywood and long before he stepped into the Oval Office, Reagan was a lifeguard during his teenage years. Fact 25. It is said that he saved 77 lives during his tenure, showing his mettle and dedication at a young age. This fact certainly adds a heroic touch to Reagan's early life. Now let's switch back to Franklin D. Roosevelt, the 32nd president made history in a quite different way. Fact 26, he was the first U.S. president to appear on television and this happened during a broadcast at the 1939 New York World's Fair. This event marked a significant shift in how presidents could connect with the public, ushering in a new era of media engagement. These facts remind us that presidents have often led interesting lives before their presidency, and their actions have often set historical precedents. Fact 27. George W. Bush was the first U.S. president to hold a Master of Business Administration MBA degree. He earned his MBA from Harvard Business School in 1975, making him unique among American presidents in his background in business education. For our next set of facts, we spotlight the 39th president, Jimmy Carter. Carter was a strong advocate for renewable energy and environmental conservation. Fact 28 1979 During his presidency, he installed solar panels on the roof of the White House. This initiative was groundbreaking at the time and demonstrated Carter's commitment to promoting sustainable energy sources. One might say, Carter was a president who truly believed in power from above. Carter's life after presidency was no less interesting. Fact 29 he became a prolific author, penning numerous books on topics as diverse as politics and diplomacy to poetry and spirituality. With over 30 books to his name, he is indeed the most published president in U.S. history. It's safe to say, he swapped his presidential pen for a literary one. Finally, for Fact 30, we have a rather surprising piece of trivia. President Carter was the first president to be born in a hospital. This fact not only underscores the evolution of healthcare but also reminds us that each president has a unique story that extends beyond the Oval Office. Thanks for watching until next time keep discovering the world one fact at a time.